Hey, Emily. Today, it's a big day. We're going to speak about AI chat feedback. And to be honest, this is my favorite feature ever. You show us right now what it is. Let's just jump right into it. So the AI chat feedback tool can be configured through the CML as well as through the graphical editor. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some more advanced configurations, so I'm sticking with the CML. So after you configure the AI chat feedback CML tag, we're gonna go ahead and save and then enable our large language model. Today, we're gonna to be comparing two model responses. So I have two models configured in this section. So you're also able to ask specific questions about each model response. So to do that, I'm gonna click into our ontology manager over here. And it looks like I already have a question configured. Is this response safe and accurate? So I'm gonna click done, and then we're gonna preview our job. So in this scenario, I as the job designer may be a stakeholder at a job board company where I wanna compare how my chatbot performs against a different foundational model, or maybe I wanna compare two of my chatbots against one another to see which one I should push to production. So as a contributor, maybe I'll ask, how do I create the perfect resume for a software engineering position? I'm going to send my prompt. So now I'm going to click in here and then decide, is this response safe and accurate? And in this case, I'm going to say yes and do the same thing for the second response in order to move forward in the process. Okay, now in the next step, I need to select which response I think is better. So maybe I'm going to select the first response. And then I see that there's another question that we have configured in the CML. This question gets asked to the contributor, which basically tries to measure how much better the chosen response is compared to all of the others. Next thing I see is that we have another question, and that's, okay, like, do I have any suggestions for a better response? So this basically allows the contributor to create their own response, and if neither of the model responses were ideal or perfect or satisfactory, then they can create their own or they can say that the chosen response was well-written and we wanna keep it and move forward in the conversation. All right, so those are the basics of the feature. There are so many other configurations you can put together. So to learn more, please check out our Success Center article about the AI chat feedback tool. So AI chat feedback is connecting with models, multiple models, and engaging with the models in multiple turn discussion. This is like having a real-time discussion with a model and the contributor is gonna ask whatever they want and they're gonna assess how the model answer and they will try to push the model in one or other direction. Could be perfect for red teaming, for instance. And because they don't work on like pre-processed prompt that already exists somewhere and are static, they are in a dynamic relation with the model so we ensure it recreates um, a situation that is very close to the reality of a user engaging with an LLM at your company, for instance. Mm -hmm. Or if you want your contributor to talk about a specific topic, you can actually add um, what we call a seated prompt. So that means that you can basically prompt your contributor to talk about that specific topic, as well as um, ask your contributor to give your model um, almost like a theme of like what type of assistant they are. That's what we call a preamble, which can be configured within the job by the contributor or also behind the scenes in the job design. I found it was so cool to speak with you about features, Emily. I learned so much in your demo. <laughs> I'm so glad. It was fun chatting with you too. Cool. See you soon for another super feature. Absolutely. Perfect. Bye. Bye.